Yeah. You understand why women hate men? Yeah. Why? If I was a woman, I would stay away from men. <laughs> what? You sound yeah, like a you, woman by saying keep, that. <laughs> David, you sound like finish, a woman, yeah. finish the fool. Yeah, I like, on that I like more, being bro. safe. I like my emotions being safe. I like to safeguard myself. If I was a woman, I'd feel like there are good men. I'd feel you can't just stop talking to men. But, no, 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 but, 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 but the percentage and the possibility and likelihood that even somebody that appears good to me could turn out to have two families later is high enough that I would understand someone allowing it for my own safety. Is before we jump into the discussion and the deconstruction of the whole thing, maybe just thinking about like women, like do, do, do we like women? Do we, do we, do we trust women? Do we have women in our lives that we respect? How do we feel about like right. women in general? Yes, yes, um, and yes. Yes, yes, and yes. It's an interesting answer. It's as easy as that. Really? Basically, yeah. yeah. I feel more Even, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not oh, I love women. This is the thing. I, I love women. I really do. Like a lot of, a lot of people think that I don't like women because I say the things that I say, but it's not coming from a place of me not liking women is, for me, it's coming from a place of realism. And I think a lot of people don't like to hear the real. And so the real normally rubs people up the wrong way and, you know, it exposes people in the mirror that they don't, that side of them they don't really want to see. So, yeah, I, but I love women. Uh, my my mum, my sisters, I, I think this my is woman. Honest. I think all of us love women. Yeah. Like that when you said it, then it sounded like different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounded, yeah, yeah, that one it sounded <laughs> sexual. That wasn't convincing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love them. <laughs> Not like no. having a woman around. Yeah. What, was, do you, what do you mean? As in, we've all got positive opinions on women, right? Mm -hmm. We don't hate them, per se. Yeah, you know per se. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but you're saying it in a way that's making, making me think you're going to say something that's going to make people think that you, don't you hate like women. Them. But you don't hate women? No. Okay, chill. You like? No, no, I'm not at all. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what is so funny? When have you last heard a man say, I don't need no woman? Uh, never. When, I was going to say, right? when, when, I, when, I, when, I, when Never. I, when I say it? Never. Because, but like women I do say, I don't need no man. So when you talk, when you talk about, started, when you talk like about um, not needing women, there's a thing called misandry, which isn't spoken about, but misogyny is always spoken about. And misandry is the hatred, the of, hatred men. of men. Yeah, and I think that is on the rise more so than misogyny. Is. Mm. I understand misandry. Why? Go on. I, I can't do this today. Yeah, elaborate. I, I, elaborate. I just, under, I just yeah. understand. You understand why women hate men? Yeah. Why? If I was a woman, I would stay away from men. What? You sound yeah, like a you, woman you just, by saying keep, that. <laughs> <laughs> David, you sound like a finish, woman by yeah, saying Finish the fool. Yeah, I like, on that I like more, being bro. safe. I like my emotions being safe. I like to safeguard myself. If I was a woman, I'd feel like there are good men. I'd okay. feel... You can't just stop talking to men. But, no, 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 but, 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 but the percentage and the possibility and likelihood that even somebody that appears good to me could turn out to have two families later is high enough that I would understand someone allowing it for my own safety. I understand that. Okay, I'm a man. I don't know. I'm a man. I'm a you man. don't sound like one hold right on, now, brother. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a man. man. In, my, in my toxic times, in my toxic times, yeah. how many women have, would we say we've hurt in our toxic times? To define hurt. Hurt, it, it doesn't have to be deep. It could literally just be heartbreak. You sell that them a, you sell, no, 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 I'm saying it can get deeper than that. <sighs> really? No, what do you mean? Oh, it's it's rubber. women are hurt by all kinds of things because you know, we didn't buy her the right flowers and... No, he's talking about... Because like, you know what I mean? Like, what's hurt, are you, talking, are you talking about physical like, hurt? Women are hurt by no, all no, kinds no, of things. No, 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 not physical. Like love, say, love, 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 No, that's what I'm trying to say. We, it doesn't have to go to the extremes of DV or anything like that. I'm saying literally just that you sold them a dream. I want to be with you. Some more emotional. Let's be, more yeah, emotional. Let's be together. Yeah. Mm. And then halfway in the middle, you're just like, nah, I don't want to do this. I want to be outside. Yeah, and I you went you outside. Mean. I would feel like I, if it, that's never happened to me. It's interesting. Has that, ever, has that ever happened to you guys? Yeah. Have you ever been with a girl and then midway through the relationship, everything was going fine. It did not that anything was deeply wrong. And she was just like, 
Now, I want to... I've never done that. I've never done that. Mate, it's never happened to me. So it's never happened to men, though. I've always been honest. Hundred percent has happened before though to men without. A doubt. I'm not saying it hasn't. I'm oh, yeah, saying it's happened to you though. I'm saying no, it hasn't happened. Yeah, to you. but it definitely happens as much. I'll say is in it men. Has it much. definitely happens. I'll say, I'll say I've been cheated on. I've been cheated on. Do you know what I'm sort of right? Right. Huh? I saw a right. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Acting like women don't cheat as well. No, like, no I wasn't no, doing no, that. No, no. Saying. Cheating, cheating didn't come to the I'm conversation. Back. How many times have you been cheated on? <laughs> that he knows of. How many times? <laughs> that he knows of. <laughs> How many times have you been cheated on? That I know of. Probably about three. Bro. Okay, Ooh, I think we don't have any here. Uh, but brother, if we that's, asked, that's if we bad. no, it that's is, bad. it that's is. Bad. But I'm saying, if we asked women how many times they've been cheated on, I think they would say more than three most of the time. Do you know what's interesting about just... this like, line of thinking? Is like I, I think when I was growing up, there was like a trend of like uh, around like 17, 18, 19. There was this age where like guys would get into like their first serious relationships mm. or their first serious mm. interactions mm. with women. Mm. Um, and there's always this narrative of like, um, you know, like the, the nice guys finish last mm. kind of mm. conversation, True. right? Yeah. Like there's always this thing of like, you get hurt the first time. And I think m- that first hurt, like men and women often have very different responses. Reactions, like, yeah. I, I feel like for me, in my own experience, I remember like being at uni and like throwing my chair around my room and being like, it's never going to happen to me again. And like changing the way that I interacted with Woman. women. Mm-hmm. As like what you were saying, in, I guess in, in terms of like a, a way of self-preservation, but in a way that like inevitably caused a lot more harm to then people that followed that yeah. woman. Do yeah. you know what I mean? But, but, but then they get harmed, not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But And I, out of like, and I don't think, I think often we frame it as like, oh, now men are dickheads or like women are the victims and blah, blah. But I do think like that was a very real experience. <laughs> to me. And I, I imagine that, I don't know if it's in the room, but I imagine that that's a similar experience for some guys where it's like, you get hurt you and, and you don't want it to happen again. Do you know what I mean? You don't like it. Like if you get bullied as a kid and then you get hench and you're like, I'm not getting bullied again. So is, or yeah, if you yeah. like learn to fight yeah. or those kinds of things. Has everyone here had yeah. their heart broken by? Everyone yeah, had their heart yeah. broken. Yeah. Mine, not uh, mine, only ha- say that, mine only happened four months ago. Really? Yeah. First time. Yeah. First time. That means you've been a dog yeah. for time. You've, you've been good at war. That's what's happened, bro. You've been a good guy. Bro, I'm then, sorry. Then, no, actually, but I'm actually, saying this might happen very recently. Yeah, that's... And I'm, and I'm, a, I'm a 30-year-old bloke, so yeah, but first love went on for a long time, kind of like, bro. things didn't work. Oh my trying gosh. to reconnect, and then that's when it hurt me, like that's years years after the breakup, yeah. Just because I, I kind of reconnected with her a little bit, and then it didn't oh. go to the way I wanted it to. Right. So yeah, so it affected me years after we broke up. Do you feel a resentment towards women because of it? Uh, resent- no, no, absolutely not. No. Does any no. would anybody say here def- here say they feel any form of resentment towards women? Yeah. I wouldn't. When say it that. happened or now? Then no, now? No, not at all. No, no I, I, I would say I, no. It's part of life. I, you I have to go no, through that. Yeah, it's it's nothing's plain sailing, I'll, is it? I would say no, but it's also you can't. If something happens to you, like a, a woman has done that to you, you can't then have resentment to all women. Yeah, you're explaining yeah. sense though. Sometimes we don't operate. There is sense. a difference between like logic and feelings, right? Mm-hmm. And like. You can logically talk yourself out of thinking something, but you might still feel the emotion of like... Because mm. I think for us as men, I think this is a really interesting place to start this conversation, actually. Right. I think for us I as think... men, no one teaches us how to deal with being hurt. 100%. Do you know what I mean? Like, that is just a... a it's like a, bro, get up, dust yourself off, deal yeah. with it. No one's going to help. Women it's feel... not going to get better. And we don't get taught how to, and we don't have the community or the networks to like deal with the pain either. Women will be hurt by man after man after man. I think that's disrespectful. Right? And bro. then, you think all of a sudden they're bisexual Listen, or they're lesbian and I it think, happens and I they've, think they've that's got disrespectful kids. for what you're saying. It's, no, it's not disrespectful. It is, because you need that's, to be that's, careful. It's definitely it's not disrespectful. <laughs> Whenever you're growing up conversation, you can't just chuck in someone being les or shaving their hair off. Because those comments make it sound like you hate women. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. Just, just con- all, all I'm yeah. saying is, I think, I think you've got a lot of good things to. I think you've got a lot of good things to say, but I also think you should just think before you that, say that's, it. That's how that's how I've come to the conclusion by thinking and observing then, the world. Then, so you've wi- come to the conclusion wi- women, that when women are hurt, they turn crazy, lesbian. Go, go outside, and ask, and, uh, go outside and ask, when we're talking about the F word, go outside and ask women in general if they're into guys and girls. 
you will get more women saying that they're into both men and mm-hmm. women than yeah, men. Than, than men. And this is the thing, it's been accepted because a lot of the girls who are doing this have been hurt. Like, oh, but guys are this, but guys are that. When a guy gets hurt, he doesn't turn into a homosexual. If he's homosexual, he's homosexual. Do you think he, he doesn't get hurt and then turn into a homosexual? Do you think the reason why it's accepted is because so uh, it's interesting you say that, right? Because I think the statistic is like 25% of people identify as part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and so I I guess in some ways that means that it can't be that most women will turn, but I don't think you were saying most women would turn It sounded like you were saying all uh, women. Listen, but, but I'm not saying second, most. I'm, I'm not saying all. I'm saying... <laughs> I've seen a lot of women, and you have seen a lot of women also, that just turn lesbian out of nowhere. But I... It mean, happens... I it just like, out of nowhere. You're like, you weren't even lesbian before. Like, how listen, are you lesbian even, now? Even, I do think... Listen, even, if, it's, if, sorry, you even if that's the case, it doesn't mean because they've been hurt by... Mm. There's no stats or... You don't have the statistics to... You can't have statistics to, to force. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just being honest there. Like, mm. you can't just say that, oh, it's because... Are we, be, are we being politically so you, correct? Would you be no, 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 no. It's not about being politically correct. correct. Okay, okay, fine, right. Right. It doesn't happen. Don't worry, it doesn't happen. Are you in a relationship? Don't worry, it doesn't happen. Are you in a relationship? Yeah. Who is who here is in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah. I'm single. I knew that. Oh, yeah. I could feel that. He's been four months. I'm also single. Right. Single. I'm single, yeah. Okay. Um, would you say you would really say that you, there is no resentment towards women? Why would I have resentment for what? Okay, so when you are saying that, you know, when women get their heart broken, mm. they turn to lesbian. I mean, it was a general statement. No, I get it, but <laughs> why are you saying it's that? Yeah, because I've seen it happen. No, I've, but I've... no, no. I'm saying what, you said that, and you said it in a very derogatory way. I'm saying what made you say that in that moment? From my observations. Okay, I rarely see you. I rarely see you have derogatory observations. What is derogatory about that? Okay, it's, uh, it's to why, suggest. Why, why, I'll explain. Yeah, it's to suggest that people are making permanent life decisions off a heartbreak, which I would assume is yeah, almost a disrespect to the intellect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm saying, a lot of them I, are. I rarely see you have those types of observations for men. Okay. Let's look at this F word, right? So you have to understand the psychology and, and what happens. We, when you look at this F word, there is a trope that says, I don't need no man. I don't need a man. But, when you, but, but, but when you say that, you don't understand what that's actually saying. You, when you say, I don't need a man, you're saying, okay, well, if you don't need a man, what do you need? Do you feel like you need a woman? But I need a woman. I don't. <laughs> of course, because I'm a man. Of course, because that's how we're built. We're built for do each you other. you want a woman or do you need a woman? If, okay, so if I want to have a family, I'm going to need one. No, no. You, if, you just said, if I want. So if you want Companion, to have a family. Companionship is you... part of the human experience. You can't, uh, no human being was born by themselves. Um, sorry, no human being was born because of a man didn't have, didn't have that union with a woman and a woman have that union with a man. So that's how we are all born. So companionship is part of the human experience. Mm. To say I, that... We're not talking about companionship. But it is companionship. No, I said, do you need a woman? Yes, because I need companionship. How, how important is femininity to you? Very important. I, I, I think masculinity and femininity are both important. Mm. I think women need to uh, learn their feminine traits, and I think men need to learn their masculine traits. Mm. Um, and I think we should hone each other. I think, I think masculinity and femininity in these days and times has been lost. You think we should hone each other? So you um, think women should hone men's masculinity? No, I think a woman feels comfortable around a masculine man in her femininity. And vice versa. And vice versa. Yeah. A man feels comfortable around a woman. Why, why would you say, like, I'm interested in Because we're polar opposites. So is it like the lack of threat? Of the opposite, or is it like the what is it, is it the opposite? Because, because comfort, the two opposite, the... I mean, the phrase two opposites attract, yeah, right? That's just the masculine and a feminine. We both feel comfortable around each other and we both complete that other part of ourselves. That's and interesting. We, it's really interesting because I, I, because I feel like I've got like it's interesting that that's where you go to because for me, it's like there's masculine and feminine in the same. I understand the polar opposites, but like what are the characteristics or the characteristics? Traits of either side? Yeah. Um,